Saturday, February 4th. Pour for Vore people, put it on your calendar. It is an incredible array of over 1,200 of some of the most phenomenal vehicles from muscle cars to exotics and so on. And Peter, you've been doing this for so long in conjunction with what do we do? We raise some money for Phoenix Children's Hospital, man. This is just amazing. Um, how did you start all this? Well, I mean, what, what were you thinking uh, in year one? How did you start this up? I, I guess I wasn't thinking. In fact, I probably wouldn't have started it. As, as my wife keeps reminding me, I'm working harder than when I had a paying job. But um, I, I guess uh, I was going to cars and coffee around town. There's lots of them. They're all wonderful. They're all very, very good. But they're all in parking lots. And, um, you know, I, I was going up to Monterey to uh, Pebble Beach, uh, Concourse into the Quail and Concorso Italiano, wonderful shows. Um, but they're all on grass, so I thought it's about time in a in a market as huge as this one that we have a show on grass. So um, there wasn't one, and I thought, well, I'll start one. And I, I certainly never expected it to grow as large as this, but but I'm thankful that it has. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, uh, Susie, if you remember, we had uh, Stuart Sobeck, uh, Las Vegas Concourse. Oh, my gosh. In fact, uh, yes. you and Stuart, uh, Peter, are good friends, and I think he's in year three, Las Vegas Concourse. These things are not easy to establish. Talk to us about, you had the concept, Peter, and, and you, you said, man, I, I need this real estate. Um, how welcoming was Fountain Hills for you? Was that just a natural fit, uh, both from your part and the city of Fountain Hills? Well, I went to the mayor of Fountain Hills in 2013 when I came up with the idea for the show. And um, I, I said, I'd like to start a car, car show. I'd like to park it, uh, the cars in, in the uh, park around the lake in Fountain Hills. It's an absolutely spectacular venue. Um, I, I'd like to take credit for, for making the show successful, but I think the majority of the credit goes to the, the venue. It really is very, very beautiful. Uh, a park with gently rolling hills around the lake with the highest fountain in, in North America. Um, the mayor at the time said, well, how many cars do you think you'll get? And, um, you know, I was in the advertising business, so I've been exaggerating my whole life. <laughs> and, and, um, and, and I went to law school, so I learned to lie. So I, I said to her, well, I, I think we'll get 100 cars. I really thought we'll be lucky to get 60 or 80 and even in that first year, in 2014, we had 220, wow. which, um, again, goes to show you the, the size of the community here. You know, for a first-time show to have that many cars is pretty incredible. You, you almost can't do this without networking with a bunch of car clubs. How warm were the car clubs? And, and please do give any shout-outs to any car clubs locally or here in the Southwest. How warm were they to, to do another show like this? Because they, they're, well, they're doing shows to begin with. That's part of being a, a car club. Well, uh, I, ironically, the very first car club that approached me uh, about the show was the Ferrari Club, um, of, of which I am now a member and, and a director, but at the time I wasn't. Um, at the time, I had a car with a Ferrari engine, but not with a Ferrari body. Ah. They, they, were, they were the first one to approach us, but the car clubs of, of all, or almost all of them, have been very, very supportive of this event. And without them, it wouldn't be anywhere near as large as it is. They, um, they actually uh, uh, arrange drives, so they, they assemble somewhere else and drive to the show together so they can all park together. And um, and the car clubs have been very, very supportive. That is awesome. It's good to hear. Uh, sometimes the calendars don't align, and it just uh, it just seems like that was just a, a, a well-grooved fit. Um, if you're just tuning in, we've got uh, founder of the Concourse in the Hills uh, raising a ton of money for Phoenix Children's Hospital uh, February 4th. Uh, you can head on out to the Concourse in the Hills. Get ready for the greatest car show on the grass, people. A wonderful, beautiful day. Um, if you're not a Phoenician, February is a beautiful month, Susie. Oh, yeah. In fact, we've been out there a few times with oh, yeah. long sleeve in the morning, and then holy <laughs> snap, it's gonna it got a little warm on us. And so if you're visiting in town, I invite you guys February 4th. Were there specific vehicles, uh, maybe outside of the local car groups, that you really wanted and had an eye for? And you said, you know, I would love to have this array. Talk to us about that. And, and, and how did you attain that? 
What kind of well, work are you in? Initially, we just parked whoever came in, parked uh, t- together. But as the show grew, we started to bunch the cars together. So uh, each brand is together. The car clubs love that because, uh, let's say, it's the Corvette car club. We, we had um, over 100 Corvettes last year, and we'll probably have the same this year. Um, we are actually sold out for the show um, as far as cars are concerned. Um, we need so a we, bigger, we need some more greens We need more. There. We're going to have to talk to the mayor about that, expanding the greens. <laughs> well, well the, the town, I'm very surprised, the town rejected my request to fill in and pave the lake. <laughs> the car wash. I, I don't know why they would have rejected that, but they have. Uh, Just, but we do park all, all the brands together, and, and it's great because, um, you know, people who have got the same kind of car want to meet uh, other people. You know, they can talk about the idiosyncrasies of their cars. It's, it's very good networking. So that's worked very well. And then um, as it got going, we set up special sections. We, sped up, we set up a race car section and we have race cars that come from a, a lot of different places. We've had race cars from California and, and other places. Um, last year, we started a new section called Limited Edition Exotics. It's for cars that are, that are made in very, very limited numbers. Um, we, we have a do- at least a dozen of those this year, some, some very uh, rare cars and very expensive cars, as you can imagine. Um, and then we... Um, we have also, we started this last year and it's growing a uh, alternate fuel section. And we have companies like Lucid and, and uh, Draco who are uh, sponsoring in, in that area. Tesla will be there, uh, Rivian w- will be there. And, and there are a lot of the electric cars that, uh, that you will see there. Um, Draco actually is bringing an SUV with, with 2,000 horsepower. It's called the Dragon, and with 2,000 horsepower, I think it is a Dragon. Oh, my oh God. My. Yes, it is. Yeah. 2,000 horsepower. Wow. We just yeah. need a little drag strip out there. We yeah. Can, <laughs> you know, that's uh, uh, you guys, get on out. The greatest car show on grass at Concourse in the Hills. Listen, all proceeds support Phoenix Children's Center. Uh, Peter Volney, the founder, is on the line. Car people know how to have fun and raise some money. And so I know that it is near and dear to your heart. You have an incredible story, Peter, and how Phoenix Children's Hospital came about in such a wonderful relationship. Talk to us about that story and what it means to you. Well, um, I, I guess, first of all, I'm a childhood cancer survivor myself. That's back when um, dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. Um, actually, I'm Australian, so it was very large kangaroos. Um, so um, Phoenix Children's Hospital is, is one of the charities that we support ourselves, my wife and I. Uh, and, um, and when we got this show going, uh, we approached them, uh, we talked, and, and they've provided enormous support. Sandy at uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital is the one who keeps me honest it's a full-time job for her because it's not easy to keep me honest. Um, <laughs> and and uh, they've, they've been wonderful. Um, we are currently, uh, as of today, we are uh, over $460,000 raised this year. Um, I, I want to stress that the show, it's free admission. of spectators who want to come, and we invite you to come out with your family, bring your dogs, bring your cats. Bring your kangaroos that come out. It's a fun day. We, we have a couple of dozen um, food trucks there. There's everything, coffee, ice cream, burgers, uh, all, all sorts of food. And it's just a real fun day. But as I say, it's, it's totally free admission and even free parking. But we would like people to, to make a donation, to reach into their pocket and bring out a couple of bucks. If they do that, then uh, we're hopeful of reaching $500,000 this year. Since we started the show, we've raised over $1.6 million, wow. and um, it, it helps the hospital. It's uh, very expensive treating the, these kids, and the, the kids are wonderful. They're all heroes. They truly are. And again, if you're just joining us, uh, you can actually get on to phoenixchildrensfoundation.org. The Gila River Casino is presented by Matson Money Concourse in the Hills. That's Saturday, February 4th from 10 to 3, as Peter said. Put the money away for admission, enjoy your time, and then maybe throw a few bucks towards a wonderful cause.